Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are going to start the subject geotechnical design. And, and this is the last subject of uh, geotechnical stream. Such so that already you have studied geotechnical engineering 1 and geotechnical engineering 2 in which you have already discussed the main aspects of soil mechanics and geotechnical engineering but now in this subject uh, geotechnical design you are going to design some structures uh, geotechnical structures like foundations like deep foundations shallow foundation earth retaining structures slope etc so here in the starting slide these pictures shows some geotechnical activities. The picture on the left side shows geotechnical activities of foundation and the picture on the right side shows the leaning tower of Pisa which is a uh, geotechnical uh, important which shows the geotechnical important aspects of consolidation theory. The subject uh, course code is CE423 title is geotechnical design and this course uh, is for only one semester the credit units of this subject is 3-0 and this subject is taught at 4th uh, level 4th year of civil engineering 8th semester the prerequisite for this subject is CE 308 geotechnical engineering 2 and the course instructors for this subject are uh, uh, Professor Dr. Shirab Khan, Dr. Khalid Mahmood, Dr. Kaiser Iqbal and myself Hassan Khan. I will teach you only the first lecture of this subject that is uh, introduction to foundation and the other uh, coming chapters of the geotechnical design will be uh, taught by our respectable doctor. The core objective of geotechnical design are number one is to enhance the skills related to bearing capacity and settlement evaluation of soils. And number two is to apply principles of soil mechanics to engineering problems pertaining to retaining structures, foundation, embankments and slope stability etc. The course learning outcomes of geotechnical design are number one is to assess consolidation, settlement and slope stability and number two to investigate allowable bearing capacity and soil improvement techniques and the third one is to justify and defend recommended allowable bearing capacity and soil investigation techniques and the last C law of geotechnical design is uh, to follow and perform simple tasks related to design and analysis of slopes and retaining walls. The teaching and learning activities of almost all the subjects of civil engineering are same, uh, which consist of quizzes and class activities, video presentation, classroom discussion, homework assignments, midterm examination, instructor lead presentation, final term examination, solving examples in classroom, and viva and interview, etc. The assessment of this subject consists of three major portions. The first portion is midterm examination, which covered 30% in this online semester. The final comprehensive examination will be of 50%, in other activities like uh, homework assignments, take home test, quizzes and attendance requirements cover 20% of the assessment. The major key syllables are the course contents of the geotechnical design consist of almost five chapter of uh, geotechnical engineering or which consists of the first chapter which will be covered by me introduction to foundation engineering in uh, which in which the topics like foundation definition types of foundation like shallow foundation deep foundation 
and which are the requirements for foundation system steps for foundation design and foundation selection process the second chapter of this subject is soil bearing capacity for shallow foundation from analytical methods and the third one is the soil bearing capacity for shallow foundation from field methods uh, like spt cpt plate load test etc and presumptive bearing capacity method the fourth one is uh, bearing capacity for deep foundation deep foundation means pile foundation in uh, all the respective theories and concepts about the pile foundation will be discussed in this chapter the last thing the fifth chapter of this subject is lateral earth pressure in slopes uh, which consists of introduction to lateral pressure horizontal stresses actual and passive pressures uh, generalized case for Rankine's active and passive pressures and Coulomb's and Rankine theories of earth pressure and uh, finally uh, introduction to slopes and embankments and types of slopes etc will also be discussed in this chapter so this was all about uh, this lecture and the recommended textbooks in reading references for this subjects are these are four books. Number one is Foundation Analysis and Design by Bowles. And the second one is Foundation Design by Wayne. The third one is Principle of Geotechnical Engineering uh, by Braja Das. And the fifth one is Foundation Design, Principle and Practices by Donald Kadut. And also class notes in PowerPoint presentation and videos lectures are important for this subject. So this was all about the first lecture. Okay, thank you. And if you have any question, you can ask in the live Google Meet class.